from the sepulchre with fear and great joy and did run to bring his disciples word. And as they went to tell his disciples, behold, Jesus met them saying, all hell. And they came and held him by the feet and worshiped him. Then said Jesus unto them, Be not afraid. Go tell my brethren that they go into Galilee, and there shall they see me. I read to you Matthew chapter 28, verses 1 through 10. May God add a blessing to the hearers and to the doers of his word. As I pray, see if they will give us a selection. Amen. Come on, y'all, let's give the Lord a great big hand praise. Come on, we can do better than that. Let's give him a hand praise today, y'all. We know what today, today is perfect, sir. And we know what why we're here. How many of y'all by a show of hands? How many of y'all happy to be here today? Man, I'm so grateful and so happy to be here today. There was a time when I couldn't get in my car and come down the road, this old rock road like the preacher talking about, and come up in this church. I'm so thankful today to be able to be here in this church. And I thank God for what he's doing in my life. And I pray that he's doing the same in y'all's life. We won't keep us lifted up, though. We're going to show the reason why we're here today and what, rep what represents the name of God. Jesus is today.
word, Father, not his word. But we might read on it all week long, Father. Let everyone, oh Lord, under the sound of my voice, oh Lord. Let them spiritually, let them physically and financially, oh Lord. Help us, Father, to be bold of witness for your Lord. And not be ashamed of the gospel to declare that we love you. We love you, O oh Lord, for all that you've done for us and all that you're going to do for us in the future. And Father, we've done all that you've asked for us to do. We won't be able to study war no more. Stick our scores in the sand and make the path. And declare it finished. Father, we stand hoping and praying that we hear you say,
And that is the morning service, so more details will come. All right, any other announcements? We're going to take up a collection now for the Easter eggs, the money eggs. Yes. I mean, we take challenge too. No peace. No guys. Let's see. Any other announcements while they take over the commission?
Amen. And truly, truly God has blessed each and every one of us. Amen. 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 He has let the Carmelos touch down on us all day. God has kept us, protecting us from the hell and everything. And God has really been good. Of our sins. Amen. They gave us eternal life. Amen. Amen. So I'm excited. Amen. About God. Amen. Amen. But we're up. Amen. To the introduction of the speaker. Amen. And he's a man that's, that's not hard to introduce. Amen. He's, he's been around here about 36 years as pastor. Amen. And as a member. He's been here all his life that I know. <laughs> Amen. Because I've been here all my life. And that's 59 years. I thank God that, that uh, for this man of God. Yes, sir. Amen. Because he put a, a teacher in place. Yes, sir. Amen. And a preacher's preacher. Yes, sir. One that was is not one that will don't mind helping. A young preacher to develop. Yes, Don't mind helping him in, uh, to sharpen his teaching skills, his Amen. preaching skills, his giving skills, his, his skills showing how to love one another. Amen? Yes, Amen. Pastor Harper has been a, a great example. Yes, Amen. And he's a powerful preacher. Yes, Amen. And I know I'm a right. You know Amen. You know it. He really don't have to be a producer. I just want to remind you of what type of pastor we have. Amen. 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 And after the praise team has sung, the next voice you will hear will be none other than the pastor of the Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Scott Island. Pastor Jimmy L. Harper. Thank you.
go to rehearsal and they don't complain about the fact that you don't come to rehearsal. Amen. Thank God for that. Amen. 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 I thank God for our sound tech and our video technician. Amen. Amen. The nurses who monitor you, check your temperatures, Amen. see if you're all right, that you don't Amen. contaminate anyone else. Amen. 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 Then, amen, all we ask of you is that you would come. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. amen. Reverend Levy asks every Sunday yes. if you would come out to go to the Sarah yes. Sunday school. Nothing wrong with that, amen. amen. I do want to say that you won't grow in Christ <laughs> except you learn to develop the ability amen. to. Make time for it. Yes. Yes. Hello, somebody. Yes, sir. The reason why, amen, there are so many of you that are still grumbling and talking about folk like mess and gossip is because you don't have any word in you. Amen. Yes. The more word yes. you get in you, the yes. less you will be messy. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Some of you are so into soap operas and all these other they love drama. Drama queen. Drama king. Got some folks that love drama. Amen. Talk about everything but Jesus. When Jesus is the best thing. Yes. 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 The world is looking for people that are going to talk about Jesus. Yes. Oh, yes. They don't want to hear your message story. Yes. They're tired of it. Amen. 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 The young and the restless. <laughs> the old and the tired. <laughs> Hey, you don't want to hear you no more. All right, now. Yeah. Showing out. Yeah. You don't want to demonstrate love. Yeah. Yeah. Patience. Yeah. Meekness. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to demonstrate goodness. Yeah. Right. 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 You don't want to demonstrate long suffering and patience. All right, now. All right. That's it. See, God is looking at us. Yes. 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 The reason why you're tired of church is because you don't have no word in you. Amen. Church ain't did nothing to you. Church has not hurt you. Some of you are living right now on the prayers of some who sing the Amen. Sitting 
not becoming stronger in the Lord. All right. Yeah. yeah. Because there's some people in your family that need Jesus. Yes. Yes, Lord. Yes. And you're playing game with their soul. Right now. Because you ain't ready yet. Yeah. Amen. Amen. We got to get ready. Amen. Thurman, thank you. Amen. For being a motivating factor in my ministry all of these years. Amen. Amen. As a deacon, Deacon Thurman Lovelace would <laughs> make his way to let me know if there was a fire going on. Amen. He was a disciple all the time. And some of you, probably if you knew he was a secret disciple, wouldn't have said some of the stuff you told us. Amen. Amen. Did I put you on blast? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's only if they haven't seen anything about it. Amen. That they know that I might have heard her. Amen. <laughs> so we just thank him for being the personality he is. Amen. Amen. There is a word found in the book of St. Luke, yeah. the 8th chapter. It's a very familiar passage of scripture. It's a scripture that I think that we get confused because we don't understand the depth of it and, and really what it has to offer. The reason I want to deal with it, I've been listening to the ministers for the last month or so, and I've heard Esther talk about the benefits, benefiting bountifully from the blessed promise of God. Amen. I've heard Robert talk about are you going all the way with God? Yeah. I hear Reverend Thurman Lovelace said transformation yeah. on a Damascus road. Uh -huh. I heard Pastor Kenneth Lovelace last week says harvest time. Yeah. Yeah. Then this Wednesday night I heard a powerful young lady get up and said, talked about exercising in the power of God's word. Yeah. Yeah. But today I want you to read with me. I'm going to read verses 1 through 10. And there you'll find these words recorded. And it came to pass afterwards that he went throughout every city and village, preaching, showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him, and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene out of whom went seven devils. And Joanna, the wife of Cusa, Herod's steward, Susiana, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. And when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city, he spake by a parable. A soul went out to sow his seed. And as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and it was trodden down, and the fowls of the air divided. And some fell upon a rock, and as soon as it sprang up, it withered away because it lacked moisture. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it. And others fell on good ground and sprang up and bare fruit a hundredfold. And when he had said these things, he cried, He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And that's what I want to talk about from that 10th verse. He that hear the word of God calls. It has a tendency to allow us to see ourselves. And sometimes we don't like what we see because we haven't done what we should have done. Right. Parable is, this parable is found in two other areas, in Matthew 13, 1 through 23, and also in Mark 4, 1 through 20. Now the parable is the most revealing of all of Jesus' parables with regard to how the kingdom will shape up, who will oppose it, how people will enter presumptuously, and then fall away 
and who will remain and bear fruit. You would say to yourself, I thought it was just a simple prayer, but it has all of that packed down in it. Amen. For the studious preacher or teacher that will study it there. This parable will give you a firm understanding as to what to expect as the gospel takes root in your own life. Yeah. Church, this parable comes from the world of farmers. All of Jesus' parables had some common point of interest so the people could identify with him. Jesus told stories about sheep and shepherds. Yeah. yeah, houses on sand and rocks, yeah. vineyards and land owners. But this parable or story was about a farmer. Yeah. But it was also about his seed. Yeah. Yeah. And most of all, it was about the soil he sowed in. Yeah. 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 And you would have to be there and see Jesus sitting with his disciples. Yeah. On a boat, a makeshift pulpit in the Sea of Galilee, yeah. on the shore where he had told them to make ready. And as he was teaching his disciples, yeah. a mass crowd had gathered around. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he began this parable about a farmer who went out to sow his seed. Yeah. And as he scattered the seed, some fell along the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it did not have much soil. It sprang up quickly. Amen. Because of the soil was shot. But when the sun came up, the plants were scorched, and they withered away because they had no depth for roots. Yeah. Church, others fell among thorns, yeah. which grew up and choked the plant. Yeah. Then the sower sowed seed that fell on good soil, yeah. where it produced a crop a hundredfold, yeah. sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. Yeah. Yes. Uh, what was sown now, after Kenneth, Robert, Clown, Murdy, yeah. and Alice, and Shelley, amen, the purpose of the parable is to start where you are yeah. and describe something that is very commonplace yeah. to us in order to teach us the deeper things the teacher has yeah. in mind. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus did this for a lesson for us. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus taught in parables for another reason, for pure truth. From a spiritual perspective, right. it's kind of hard to digest. Yeah. It is like taking casserole mm -hmm. and it don't taste right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. It is unacceptable and sometimes not understood. Yeah. But when Nicodemus came to Jesus by night saying, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. Yeah. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Yeah. Jesus answered and yeah. said unto him, Valley, valley, I say unto you, except a man be born again, yeah. he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said these words because of his ignorance. Yeah. Amen. And he didn't understand spiritual truth. Said, how can a man be born again when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answers, says, Valley, Valley, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That that is born of the flesh is flesh. That that is born of the spirit is spirit. God will not be said. And I say unto you, you must be born again. And I know some of you like Nicodemus today don't understand spiritual things. He didn't understand the fact that God had a process of recycling us and making us over again. Man, God can make us over again. As long as some of us are, God can make us over again. 
as mean yes. and hard-headed yes. and contentious yes. as we are. Yes. God can recycle yes. that and make something brand new. Yes. I heard one writer say, he can watch us and house us. Yes. And we'll come out whiter than snow. Yes. Oh, you might be dirty. You might be nasty. You might be crazy. Yes. But I know God. Yes. Yes, yes. We have a tendency, amen, to resist pure truth. Amen. Yes, people resist pure truth. When it reveals their flaw. Preachers, deacons, urchins, musicians, choir members, sound, video text, even little children. That's a thought that somebody has revealed their flaw. They don't like real truth. Amen. Old men don't like for folks to reveal what they've done when they were young. Old women don't like it to be revealed what they did when they were youth. I remember seeing an older woman telling a young girl, busting her out about how much cleavage she was showing. Well, uh -huh. And I listened to how harsh she was. Come on. Yeah. And I looked at it and waited until she got through and I looked her in the eye Come on, and said, when you were 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, so how much cleavage did you show? Well, how much did you reveal? I said you should have considered yourself before you were so harsh on that young lady. Amen. See, life is a process. Amen. You don't do anymore. And you can't do better until you know better. Amen. It's a process. Yes. To allow you to know, see if all you've ever heard was yes. folk talking down other folk. Yes. You gonna think that talking down other folk yes. is what yes. everybody yes. does. Yes. Because that's yes. the only people you hung around. Yes. If you hung around folk that got over on folk all the time. Yes. Hey man, you yes. see trying to get over yes. on folk all the time. Yes. If you have stinking thinking, as yeah. Yeah. Said, yeah. and that's all you be around, you're going to stink, stinky. Yeah. Hey Amen. You're yeah. going to have the same mentality yeah. as somebody else. Yeah. Yeah. But what if you take on the word of God? Yeah. Well, it says, love your enemy. Yeah. Let those that curse you. Yeah. Pray for those that despite the youth yeah. and tell all manner of evil against you. What if you took on Amen. Amen. The character of Christ. Amen. Where you were willing to sacrifice all. And it's a difference. See, you got to learn how to give some things up. And those things that you do are not, amen, what they should be. But people do, amen, resist. Peers, truth. And they resist pure medication. Yeah. Medication often is mixed with other ingredients so that the body will accept it. Yeah. Here's the picture of Jesus. Amen. Seen. And his disciples are up in the northern Galilean region, and Jesus turned the boat into a platform pulpit yeah. on which to teach. Amen. Proud for there behind him. Come on. And it was planting seeds. Uh -huh. And in the distance he saw a farm who had a seed bag around his neck. And as he walked in the field, he reached in his bag and began to scatter seeds in all directions. Amen. And after Jesus had finished, Jesus' disciples were curious. Come on, Pastor. They were confused. Uh -huh. 
He had told them a truth. Yes, sir. Yeah. But they didn't get it. Well, yeah. There are people killing it right here today. Come on, yes, sir. Thinking in their own frame of thought. Yes, sir. Trying to figure out who I'm talking about. Come on, preacher. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And what God loves is, I'm not talking about any one individual. Amen. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell about what God says, the Lord. It's all of us. Come on now. See, the sower is a child of God. Amen. 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 He's a preacher. Yes. He's a farmer. Yes. He could be a school teacher. Yeah. He or she could be a factory worker. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They could be a retired personality. Yes. Yeah. 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 They could be any one in our midst. Yeah. 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 Yes, sir. That have an occupation. Yeah. 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 But they are sowing a seed. Yeah. Yeah. And that seed is the word of God. Yes, sir. Yeah. See now you never saw the seed. Come on, Amen. Amen. You really don't even know your assignment. Come on, man. I've had people that have been in church for 20 years and I don't know what to do. <laughs> Why don't you know what to do? Nobody ever told me. <laughs> what do they have to tell you? <laughs> Jesus is your example. Yes, is. I'm not your example. Jesus, Jesus. is your example. Yes, Jesus is the model that you follow. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That's what he was here for. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Jesus is the real deal. Yes. Amen. Amen. Now don't try to make me perfect. Uh, Amen. And then try to judge me at the same time. <laughs> Amen. That, that ain't my MO. Amen. Yes. I'm just like you. Yes, sir. Amen. I, I'm, I'm the soul. Yes. See, the soul is your mind. Yeah. That's all it is. It's your mind. It's your mind right now. Yeah. All of you are different souls at yeah. different stages yeah. and at different times in your life. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Oh yeah, you in this text. Yeah. Whether you like it or not, you're yeah. in this yeah. particular text. Yeah. And one of the things that I love about the text is you know where you are. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. How? Look at this, they're confused. Well, Jesus said the wayside is the mind of a person uh -huh. who hears the message uh -huh. about the kingdom and does not understand it. Uh -huh. When the evil one, the devil, he's in here too. Yes, Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 Devil uses someone to snatch away uh -huh. what was sown in the soil of your mind. Amen. Amen. See, that's some de demonic people yes, who are ignorant of God's word in yes, our midst right now. Come on, Amen. All they know is Easter Sunday. Yes. 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 Eggs. Uh, Baskets. Yes. Yes. Die. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Bunnies. <laughs> amen. <laughs> they know about that part of it. Yes. Yes. But see, amen, when the preacher preaches about the soil and the seed, yes. they don't see any of that. And what happens is, hey amen, you are so confused about looking for a bunny rabbit well. <laughs> that you miss the bigger picture. Yeah. And then somebody who's demonically possessed say so he didn't say nothing about Easter. <laughs> and Easter is all about Jesus. It's all about what he came. It's all about how he hung, bled, and died for your sins and mine. It's all about him. Our very existence is about Jesus. And see, the sad thing is, if you don't understand it, yeah. Yeah. Amen. And you're going to church, I pray God. Yeah. Amen. I pray God for you. Busy talking about people not realizing that your destiny is here. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. And then you don't even yes. believe a hell exists. Yes. Yes. And then live down here in hell all your yes. life. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's something yes. far worse. Yes. Far worse. Yes. An unquenchable fire. Yes. Yes. 
Amen. That don't go out. Hell is a place on fire. And, I, and it says that even though you go to hell and you burn, you'll never, amen, die because your soul is immortal. And you'll be in anguish and pain. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Although a devil might be in here snatching God's word and twisting what is being said, amen, it's still up to you to choose. Hello, somebody. Amen. 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 The roadside. The one who received the seed that fell on rocky soil. Amen. Who hears the word and at once received it with joy. But since he has no root, he or she only lasts a short time. And when trouble comes, you don't know that trouble comes to church. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Job said this, a perfect and upright man that feared God and the true people. Man. man that is born of a woman is of a few days yeah. and full yeah. of trouble. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. When persecution comes yeah. because, amen, of the word. Uh -huh. See, that's what I had to learn as a preacher. Yeah. Tussle I always was outspoken. Well, yeah. And I would tell people the truth. Well, yeah. Found out telling the truth for Jesus would get you in trouble. Yeah. 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 I was in church when I told a woman that she was old. Well, uh, too old to be doing what she wanted to do. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she gave her a piece of her mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> Now she ain't got nothing left. Well, yeah. <laughs> That's all she had. Well, I, I'm here to let you know. Well, you got to be careful. Yeah, yeah. Even in the house of God, <laughs> people are fickle. Yes, sir. I told her the truth. Yes, sir. Hey, man. You're too old. Too old. Yeah. Be chasing rabbits. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Too old. Oh, yeah. Too old. Get your man. Sit down. Sit down. <laughs> Teach some young girls how to be chased. Yes, sir. Yeah. Teach some young girls how to be mothers. Yes, sir. Teach some young ladies yeah. how to love their husbands. Yeah. Teach some young folks. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, she didn't want to hear that. <laughs> I was the wrong man. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Well, but I was just telling you the truth. Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. If I get too old well, to do some things, well, I need somebody to tell me. Yeah. <laughs> That's the hop. <laughs> you too old. <laughs> you need to tell me. That means that I'm going to see now. <laughs> and I'm trying to do things that young folk do. And I'm too old to do it. Amen? I ain't mad at you. If you could help preserve my life for a couple of more years, I'm appreciative. <laughs> Are you doing that? Yes, yes, oh yes. Oh yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Then, then not only, Amen, but then there's something that fell on thorny ground. Yes, sir. And what the thorns represent was the care of this life. Yeah. They represent the lust of the eye. Yeah. The lust of the flesh. Yeah. And the pride of life. Yes, sir. They cared more about this world and what other people thought of them and well, their possessions and money and wealth than they did of Jesus. Amen. And so what happened was, amen, when those cares became greater, yeah. and I'm going to tell you something, even rich people, amen, want more. Yeah. Oh yeah? Y'all yeah. remember the dream girl? 
when Jimmy heard yeah. was saying it. Yeah. And he went for it. Yeah. Jimmy came out of the pool. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Jimmy, one more.
I studied the word of God. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then Jesus pierced within his soul and saw something. He said, now sell all you have. And follow me. The thorns got tight <laughs> around his neck. He realized that God was asking him to give it all up to follow him. He couldn't follow God because he did not want to give it up. Some of us are right there. We're in church. We're in the world. We're straddling the fence. And we don't know which way to go. And the Lord is telling us, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. No man coming to the Father but by me. You're right at the precipice of making a righteous decision, making your way to God. That when this old life no longer can afford you a home, you will have a resting place. I got to get ready to go. Because I got to leave you now. But this Easter morning, poor soul. Yes, sir. Mine. They're all in us. Yeah. The mindset, the hearts, yeah. all of us. And I'm gonna tell you something. See, you can research yourself. Yeah. Amen. And pinpoint when you were on the wayside. Yeah. You can research yourself and see Amen. when the stones were in your life. Yeah. When you come to church and some Sundays you get happy. Yeah. And then when trouble came. Yeah. Amen. Disturbances came. Yeah. Amen. When you got in trouble, amen, you fell away from the church. Yeah. See, some people blame everything on the church. Well, yeah. He said, the reason I don't go to church because of a folk in church. Yeah. Hey, I ain't going to hell for nobody. Yeah. I'm telling y'all that. I'm telling y'all that because I, I used to ask, I, I would always ask the preachers when I heard that. I was surprised. They always blame the church. They work on these jobs. <laughs> with folk. They know. They don't love them. They work on the same job. For over 30 or 40 years. They make sure that they go and get their earth. They always try to be on time. Yeah. Amen. I, even some of them go I, when they're sick and don't feel well. They'll make their way out to some job. Whether well, it's a factory job, Amazon, or whatever, they man, they have to go to. Yeah. And they'll go to those jobs, uh, catching hell uh, every day. Yeah. But have a supervisor that don't even care about it. Yeah. <laughs> they tell him they're sick, uh, and he look at them like they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Ain't God all right? Amen. Yeah. Hey, and then uh, they work all day, then make it home that evening, uh, and still don't feel any better. Yeah. I stop by the day. Uh, I don't know how uh, you can put a church mm -hmm. uh, that has a God uh, that loves you so much uh, that was willing to give his only begotten son uh, ain't God all right uh, but I gotta get ready to go because uh, my time is far spent uh, I gotta get out of here mm -hmm. uh, 1152 uh, and I know uh, y'all got so much you want to do uh, but I stop by to tell you uh, he that had an ear uh, let him hear uh, what thus said the Lord uh, and the reason I want to tell you this is uh, 
and how God has been uh, so good to me. Uh, and see, I learned a long time ago uh, that I'm not the only one uh, that God has been good to. Uh, see, every now and then, uh, we got to let other folk know uh, that we serve, uh, we serve uh, a good God. Uh, and God, all right. Uh, the reason I know He's good is uh, because I tried it for myself. Uh, See, when the storms uh, of life are raging, uh, God stayed by me, uh, and God good. Uh, he put his arms around me, uh, he cradled me, uh, and rocked me uh, on the sleep. Uh, I got to go now, uh, and I'm not bound in peace up, uh, let you know uh, that goes on in my life. Uh, kept you when you were wayside. Uh, didn't even know it for yourself. Uh, somebody prayed for you uh, when you were stony. Uh, and God, all right. Uh, and then you accepted Him. Uh, and you backslid. Uh, God waited on you. Uh, and God, all right. Uh, he stayed there. Uh, waiting for the day out. Uh, and I love what He does. Uh, when it was my time. Uh, that he could sow a seed ha, in my soul. Ha, amen. I died. Ha, a voice of Jesus said, ha, Come unto me, ha, all ye that labor ha, and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. Ha. Anybody, ha, I'll here need some rest. Ha, some rest from your soul. Ha, thank God, all right. Ha. Okay. Well, let me tell you what the Lord does. Your Lord is my God. Came down to 42 generations. Born in Bethlehem of Lucia. Laid in a manger. Wrapped in swaggling cloth. Through the wee wax strong. At the age of 30. Baptized of John. At the age of 33. They carried him from Judgment Hall to Judgment Hall. Found no fault in him. But the herd, the devil had some imps. And the imps said, crucify him. Thank God, all right. He did it all for you and I. And I like to personalize it. He did it for Jimmy Harper.
that have ears yeah. to hear, yeah. let him hear. Yeah. I tell you, that was the best Thanksgiving meal. Yeah. We ought to be giving thanks this morning. Yeah. We ought to be giving thanks for a Amen. Oh, I tell you, we couldn't have ate any better today than what Pastor allowed God to give us. God worked right through. And there's somebody here today that heard. And that mind is made up. And they believe on Jesus. Yes, yes. The word said, whosoever will call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yes. That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus yes. and believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, yes. thou shalt be saved. It's just that simple. If you need me to come and walk with you, come up and take the chair. The main thing is we want you to believe on Jesus.
presence of God in this place. Sister Geraldine Hart. Amen. 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 Sister Gerald Pastor, would you stand? Amen. After we raise 
this uh, offering. We want to uh, go to our uh, sister Nikki Chandler. Amen. And we're going to start our Easter service.
And it was and it was now about the sixth hour and a darkness came over the whole world until the I'll be reading I'll be reading Luke chapter twenty three verse forty four through forty seven. I'm not forty six. And it was now about the sixth hour and the darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour. The sons were falling and the hill of the temple was broken in the And Jesus crying with a loud voice. And Jesus crying with a loud voice said, Father, into my hands I commanded my spirit. And having said this, he gave up to those. All right, next we're going to have Nia. Let us name 
in our imagination after like this and let them do many, many over the fish or what the sea and over the fellow of the air and all over the cattle and all of the earth and over the creek but over each of the creek things that creeped creep upon the earth. So God created me in his own magic little in the images so God he God created himself. Male and female created he them. Alright, thanks for that. Jada was Thank you. 
Oh, uh-huh. 